Hi and welcome to a Jarvis Walker Fishing Tips. Today we're going to run through some marlin basics with well-known skipper Hayden Bell. Well the main thing you look for is like structure, depends what you fish for, but black marlin, they like the structure of the reef, points, bays, current hitting it, updwelling, and they get in behind them. But any marlin fishing is like that, doesn't matter blue marlin, anything, wherever there's a bit of structure, the whole reason mainly is the bait holes there. You just work it and work it. If you mark them bait, you stay with it, then usually you'll see good marlin marks and you just hang with it, you know, because sooner or later they'll come to it. And then they like to sit at that 40, 50 metres, you know, and sometimes you might have to work them to get them up, but, you know, you go in and out sometimes, out 250 metres, back in, you know, 100 metres, depending on different things, but that's kind of, because they come up, I think they must hit that edge and they kind of come up. And that's where they hang along it, you know. But sure enough, there's no fences, you can find them anywhere. You go out wide on lures or in along the edge on lures, there's, there's no real rule as in where they're going to hang. But the majority of the time, it's right along that reef edge, you know, where they, they just love it there. They do love tide changes, you know, when it, the nip of the water just and they come up. You know, you don't want to be somewhere where you've never really caught them before. You know, if there's an area where you have, you just hang there on a the tide change and you know, that's when it'll happen. It's a classic if there's a tournament on, you can guarantee it'd be quiet. Then all of a sudden, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, look at the tide book, oh, tide change. It's just a thing that they do, it really is. Generally, we have a skip bait and a swim bait, and sometimes we'll have another skip bait out the back, because sometimes you get a bit of a finicky one that might just be out there cruising around. But always a swim bait and a skip bait majority of the time, all the time. Then sometimes you put one long out the back, or some people put a lure out there, just something a bit different. When you're trolling for mullen, it's also a good idea to throw out a skirt. You can troll at a little bit faster pace, and you never know what might grab it. The first five minutes, the most crucial part of any fight of a mullen. You know, you gotta keep the boat going, trying to keep that slack line, or maybe go will get faster if he's jumping towards you. Otherwise, they're just shaking their head, or. But then again, an angler too, if he sees that happening, you just gotta be on it and keep, you keep the t line tight and the hook, not like any fishing really, you know, but marlin can get loose line by themselves. So many times you'll see one eat, you hook it, next minute it's here jumping at you, thrashing its head, and you're like, oh no. And nearly 90% of the times, she'll get off. At the moment, we've got custom built 130s and the San Diego 130s, which have been unbelievable. Good carbon fiber drag, smooth as silk, and uh, ceramic bearings in them now. But you need smooth drag, because you can be into big fights and other drags can, we've all had them buckle over, but at the moment they're going very well. Blue Marlin. If you'd like any more information on any of the tackle we've used today, visit jarviswalker.com.au. Woohoo! Blue Marlin. Thank you.